guide named Mars of Conservation Tips. Did you ever run out of hot water? Well, one of the problems may be that your uh, water heater needs a little extra help. And today on tips, I'm going to show you how to add an insulated jacket to not only a gas water heater, but an electric water heater so that you can save some money and also save some energy. Now, once you've corralled your water use, you might be able to turn your temperature down a few degrees and save some money that way. But you know, we still got to be concerned about losing heat to the environment that it's in. We've got 125 degree water in the tank, 7 degree ambient air, you know, heat's going to leave the tank. You might say, well, it feels kind of cool, there's no problem here. But yes, indeed, you are losing energy and a good way to stop that is to add an insulated jacket. Now, luckily, our local hardware stores have a few varieties here. We have some that are 2 inches thick, 3 inches thick. And what you want to do is you want to look at the area around the tank and choose the blanket according to that space. So now we pulled the water heater jacket out of the packaging and of course, you know, guys, I know you can do this without reading the instructions, but this is a good time to read the instructions. And since it is fiberglass, we got some fibers, you don't want to get them on your hand or in your, in your nose. You might want to wear some goggles if you're sensitive that way. Now these things come a lot longer than they need to be. And what you want to do is measure this. I'm going to use a string here to measure about how long we need to uh, have this uh, particular piece. And we're going to transfer that to the blanket and we're going to cut that extra off. Okay, now that we got our insulation jacket cut, we're going to put it around the tank. Slides around easy. If you have an overflow pipe going on the side like this, you're best to kind of put this underneath there. And also, by the way, you might want to wear some long sleeves rather than short sleeves because this stuff can get a little itchy on you, you know? Now, I put a piece of tape on this leading edge here, just going to tape it to the tank, just kind of hold it in place. We'll go ahead and wrap the rest of it around like this. And then you're going to take three pieces of tape like this and kind of get it nice and tight. Take it on around, use that tape to kind of hold it in place. Okay. Our next task is to go ahead and cover up the vertical side here because we want to keep that heat from spilling out and also know the fibers from entering the room that it's in. So you pull your protective paper off your tape. And this works, this goes pretty well here. You can see it makes it a, a nice, neat looking job. But, you know, this tape, although it looks really good, it sometimes can get unfurl over time. I'm going to show you how to take care of that here in a sec. Okay, got that all taken care of. Cut this little extra off on the bottom here. Now, what I like to do is tie the, the jacket on with some string. And you see what I've done here is I've put a little loop in the end of this string. I'm just going to feed the end of it through it and kind of uh, cinch it tight because if the tape happens to come undone, then we know we've got some string to help hold it up and keep performing well for you. Now, if you've had a little bit extra cut off the edge like we showed earlier, you can use that to cover the top of the electric water heater. Now we can't do this with a gas water heater because we've got a pipe coming up with some heat and we need to have combustion air and all that. But electric water heater, pretty well secure on top. You make sure all your wiring connections are covered so nothing's going to bother it. But see, all your heat wants to rise in a, in a tank like this and it comes off right at the top. So putting some insulation on there is a really good idea. Now, go ahead and we need to go ahead and tape this. You can see with this particular wrap has a nice extra piece like this that we can fold right over the top. I got some tape free done here. I advise you to do this too because it's awful sticky tape and it's nice to have it all ready to go. So you can get that pretty well tightened up up here with the use of this tape and that extra flap that you see around the edge of that uh, water heater. Okay, now if you have more than just a couple pieces left over, you can add another layer on top of here too and really help keep that heat in the water. Wrapping a gas water heater with a jacket, there are two special considerations that you must note. One is you want to have the jacket up off the floor so air can enter in underneath the gas water heater so that the flame under there can get some oxygen so it can combust properly. And then we can't put any insulation on top of the tank because we also have to have air come in the flue pipe so that it'll 
and allow the gases to go up and out of the building. Now the very last thing, of course, you want to do is cut out, you know, where your drain is so you get access to that and make a mental note of where those thermostats are so you, you know, turn them down later on if uh, you got so much hot water you don't know what to do with it. Now the kids run between $10 and $25 depending on the style that you get and they'll pay themselves off in just a matter of months. Well, this is Dave Mars of Conservation Tips and I'll see you next time.